how's it going everybody my name's chipper and welcome back to another video on escape from tarkov so in today's video i'm going to be talking to you about the best settings that i recommend for escape from tarkov in 12.6 now these settings are going to be based off the user called lowes is back he's done a lot of research and is responsible for actually implementing and recommending a fix to bsg to fix the hyper threading scenario that we were having in Escape from Tarkov because it wasn't actually enabled. He found it in the code, was able to get it um, updated by BSG and we ended up seeing 10 to 20 more frames in game. He also has his recommended game settings. So I'm gonna go over those um, and what you probably should be running as quickly as possible, as well as Nvidia settings. We're also gonna be talking about Ghost Freak 66 um, and his crew where they came out with a monitor refresh fix which completely changes the way the game feels in my opinion because if you don't do this fix you're stuck at 60 hertz refresh rate and it really does impact the, the way the game feels so we'll dive into the game settings first and go from there Alrighty guys, so we're going to dive into these relatively quickly. If you have any comments or follow up or you don't understand something, definitely leave them in a question in the comments down below and I'll try and get to you as soon as I possibly can. And also too guys, if you definitely got something from this video, please leave a like. It really does a lot for the YouTube algorithm. Alrighty, so first of all, we're going to talk about the auto RAM cleaner. Only run this option if you've got 8 gig of RAM. If you've got 16 gig of RAM, you don't need to run it anymore. You should be fine. When it comes to um, use only the physical cores, only if you've got like a 6th gen or lower Intel CPU or an old AMD, then you may want to um, actually select this option. I think AMD across the board for the way their hyper-threading work is better to leave this option unticked. But if you've got a 6th gen or lower Intel, you may want to play around with this setting. Otherwise, leave this setting off. You should see an improvement. Um, in FPS unless you bought a non hyper threading 9th gen Intel CPU Okay, so moving across to the graphical settings. I'm not going to talk about the top settings right now I'll come back to that briefly towards the end of the segment Okay, so the first thing you want to change um, or run is high settings for texture quality You can run medium if you've got a relatively old machine. So like 6,000 uh, gen Intel, maybe a um, 9,000 uh, 900 series um, uh, Graphics card or something like that then you might need to drop it But for the most part running high should be fine shadow quality You got two options if you run low setting you'll see PMC's better, but it'll take a hit to FPS if you want more um, to be moved away from the low setting, which is CPU bound and moved over to the GPU, you want to run high, which should give you an FPS boost. LOG quality, you just want to leave it two. Overall visibility just at 400. If you're noticing the draw distance in um, on maps like woods and shoreline is white over 400 meters, change this one notch up to a thousand, you should be fine. Uh, shadow visibility, just keep that at 40 anti-aliasing now you've got two options here in my opinion either you run taa or taa high um, low is back um, recommends taa high and then antistropic filtering just to per texture i've actually found the setting to be quite good i used to run taa um, just normal and then antistropic filtering on it does get rid of um, probably it's it is a sharper image it will look a little bit better but you will suffer in FPS so start off with the TAA high and then the per texture see how that runs and then you can always change it now if you are struggling um, CP um, I guess GPU wise um, have quite an old GPU you may want to write try just FXAA um, you don't necessarily need to run anti aliasing off FXAA really doesn't tax the machine all that much and it will at least give you something. Probably leave per texture on if you can, but turn that off if you're finding that your FPS isn't reaching over 60 consistently. Moving on from there, resampling, you can just leave as one times. Um, HBAO, leave that as off. Um, SSR, leave that as off. That one's like for water, um, water reflections, which you won't see half the time anyway. So what's the point of running it? Sharpness is user preference. Um, the more you have this one, higher you go, the more the painkiller effect kicks in, can really affect Twitch and recording. So be mindful and play around with that one. Lobby FPS and game FPS, you just want to leave as high as possible. And all four options down the bottom, Z blur, Chrome, noise, and grass shadows, turn them all off. 
Um, they will just tank your FPS. Some of them won't even do anything or they'll just hurt your FPS, especially Grand Shadows. And that's pretty much it. They're the settings that I'd recommend you start with and then go from there. Now, when it comes to resolution, you'll notice that I'm running a resolution that's one, um, I guess, res lower than it should be. So I'm running 1439. The reason because of that, I've got a custom resolution in NVIDIA to run um, 144 refresh rate. The reason for that is, is unless you do this custom res, your game is stuck at 60 hertz. So you're not utilizing your high refresh rate monitors. And I tell you, once you make this fix, the game will look amazing. So I will dive into that later. Obviously leave VSync on, that is to sort of cap the FPS at 144, but there is a, um, um, you need to do some changes in NVIDIA before that will work. Running full screen is well, it's probably gonna be the best chance to get high FPS, but borderless will probably won't be too bad, especially if you've got a higher machine. You'll either only see a small change, if no change to FPS, but to be safe, full screen 100%. Alrighty, so moving on from graphics settings, we're going to post effects. Um, you click it on and then you click it back off again, bang, you click save, and then you've just saved yourself a whole bunch of FPS loss. Unfortunately, post FX, um, even if you just turn it on, you're gonna lose FPS. I highly recommend you do not run these settings if you want the most FPS possible. You can change them in NVIDIA control panel. Even if you've got an AMD, you can do the same thing as well. Um, then just just flick them off the only thing that if you need to run this clarity at 80 between 60 and 80 may help you out but in my opinion it's just not worth it um keep it off you'll save fps and then you'll be thankful for it okay so once you're on the desktop you're just going to have to launch the nvidia control panel okay so first of all we're just going to set up the manage 3d settings I'm going to come into here, go program settings. Then you're actually going to select escape from Tarkov.exe. If you haven't got it, you need to actually find the executable. So browse to the location, select it, and then add it. Now, these are the settings that Lowe's is backs recommends. I'm purely going to just mention what he's actually using. He has it in German, so I've translated it. And now I'm just going to quickly fly through it. So image sharpening. Um, I would definitely try this out and then you can actually reduce the sharpening in game. So try 0.7 and 1.0 is what low is back was using and I've been using it. It's not too bad. There is a little bit of blur, but it's still not too bad. Give it a try and see how your FPS goes and see if you like the game, how it is. Moving on from there, we've got anisotropic filtering when application controlled, um, anti-aliasing FXAA, you can just turn that off. Um, anti-aliasing gamma correction, you can leave on. Anti-aliasing mode, just leave that as application controlled. Um, Anti-aliasing um, uh, transparency, leave that off. Uh, CUDA GPUs, you want all of them. Low latency mode, you want on. Uh, frame uh, Max frame rate, you just want off. Uh, monitor technology, if you've got FreeSync or G-Sync, I'm not too sure how it works, but with G-Sync, you need that obviously turned on. Um, Multi-frame um, sample AA you want off. I'm pretty sure this heavily impacts G-Sync anyway if you turn this off, so it might not even work, but I'd leave that off. If I had that on, I was getting some weird tearing issues or refresh issues, but try if you want to turn it on, you can and see how it goes. OpenGL render, you want that obviously selecting your um, video card. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance. That's a huge one, no matter what game you're playing, you can potentially get a, a couple of um, FPS or percentage increases just from that alone. Preferred refresh rate, um, just highest available. Shader cache, um, you just want that one on on. Um, texture filtering, endostropic uh, sample, you want off. Texture filtering, um, so the negative LOD BIOS, you want clamp. Now that's only if you're running um, anti-stropic or anti-aliasing options. Um, I'm pretty sure it's one or the other um, that Lowe's is back recommended that you use clamp. Um, texture filtering, you want quality, um, you want high performance. Then texture filtering, um, uh, trillionaire option optimization, you want on. Uh, threaded optimization you want to auto now there's something to do with I believe it's like worker jobs if you have this turned off or even on um, I think you can impact the way that the worker jobs get allocated to the GPU from the CPU or something along that lines so Lowe's is back recommended just keeping this on auto uh, triple buffering you want off 
um, and then vertical sync you want use the 3d application we'll come back to that so you don't need to set this to uncapped or fast um, just leaving it on 3d application is enough to um, get the 144 fps um, virtual reality pre-rendered frames you want on one Going from there down, um, you want to go into um, uh, the physics. You want to select your actual graphics card because you want obviously your graphic card handling that rather than your CPU. We'll come back to the resolution change. Now adjust desktop color settings. This is where you can add gamma and also digital vibrance, which is saturation in post effects. So play around it with it here rather than in post effects. Um, so it just applies it to the monitor. Um, then from there on, we're going down to the um, adjust desktop size and position. I highly recommend you use no scaling here. Um, using aspect ratio can potentially um, limit frames and cause issues and just make sure perform scaling on the GPU is selected. And obviously if you want G-Sync, if you've got it as a monitor option, then you can enable that if you like. And then that's pretty much it. Then you're diving back up to the top here where the custom resolution is. Now this is Ghost Freak 66 fix. As you can see, I've got a custom resolution here. So in order to do that, um, you will need to um, go into here and actually select custom resolution. And for some reason, um, it hasn't come through for me. Hang on a second, there we go. So you go custom resolution. Um, as you can see, I've got it selected, but then just go create custom resolution. Then you just need to change it one res lower on the vertical line. So in my case, it'd be 39. If you're 1080p, you're just going to go 1079. Um, once you've done that, make sure you've selected the refresh rate. Now, don't go higher than 144. If you go higher than 144, Tarkov game.ini file will not like the setting that you've selected. So you definitely don't want to do that. You want to keep that setting at 144. It also can impact like recording software as well. So if you're using game catcher cards and things like that, it can also cause issues. But also too, it's in-game um, restricts your FPS. So your graphics card isn't being taxed all the time. Um, if you leave it uncapped, you um, throttle your Nvidia card by because it hits 80 degrees because it's being utilized at 100% capacity so that's how you can limit it so this setting has a sort of a, a dual effect by doing this um, do a test to make sure it's working okay and then click um, okay um, then you just need to make sure it's selected as an option and click okay then you'll have it here as a option to select just make sure it's only got 144 refresh rate but you can still keep your original refresh rate for any other game as well this is only for in-game so that's where you in this situation where you saw that I actually had the custom uh, resolution in game where I could select the 1439 uh, and then um, with the VSync enable it will limit my FPS to 144. So then you'll notice the game if you do have a monitor which is um, able to support that refresh rate you will notice the game even the menu will look so much more responsive and the game will feel completely different. You will not be able to um, understand how clear and how clear, I guess, how, I guess not only clear, but how fast and responsive the game actually is once you've changed the setting. It is a really good fix. Alrighty, so the next thing I wanna talk about is the uh, shader cache. Now, you do need to clear this in um, Escape, uh, I guess once you've made all these changes, before loading Escape from Tarkov Next, you definitely wanna remove the shader cache for NVIDIA. Now, I will leave a link in the description where Lowe's is back recommends these shader caches to be removed, and these will be um, rebuilt again next time that you load into Escape from Tarkov. So once you've done those settings, and like I said, they'll be in the comments down below, um, you will be right now to actually select the different res that we customized before, set VSync on and then full screen, and then you should see your FPS cap at 144. Um, with all your settings, then save, save the game, exit out, come back into the game again, and then you should be right to actually play the game and see how the settings work. 
If you do change a fair few of these settings, you may want to actually clear the cache again once you're happy with them, just to make sure that you're not getting any conflicts there. But for the most part, you should be okay. It's only when big patches come out or if you haven't cleared the cache in quite some time and you've been playing around with the settings, that it may be a good idea to, to clear the shadow cache. Um, oh, sorry, the shader cache that Lowe's back recommends. Once you've pretty much done all that, that's pretty much it. That you should be pretty much good to go. Give these settings a whirl. See how you find Escape from Tarkov. Obviously, some of the settings are user preference. Change them as you see fit. But I can guarantee it, if you try these settings, you should have some gains in, in FPS if you're finding that you actually are struggling. Um, or more importantly, um, the game should actually feel even just a lot better, even just with the resolution, um, resolution fixed from Ghost Freak. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you got something from it, please leave a like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to, um, I'll leave a link in the bottom down below for Ghost Freak 66 Twitch. Give him a follow and show your love there, as well as Lowe's is back. Give his um, Reddit um, you know, user profile maybe a follow so you can always stay up to date and then make the changes when he actually sends a new post out, but also show his appreciation. A lot of these settings are from him, and um, I think it goes a long way to making sure that um, you know he gets the appreciation he deserves because it's made a massive difference to my gameplay, um, and I definitely appreciate the time he spent on it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video, and until next time, I'll see you back out there.